Here we have Phyllis Calvert on the cover of the June 14th of 48 issue. We're going to go right into a uh, meeting they had in 41 with Hitler and stuff, thinking about D-Day and what to do and how they messed up, and thank goodness that was a big turning point of the war there. And a big article on the Protestant Revolution, many, many pages of that. Uh, many, one of the largest articles I've seen in a Life magazine. Anyway, move on to a, uh, I don't know how, when this was taken down, but in uh, New York, uh, they've got a big a couple of statues they're putting up. Uh, apparel for women. I, I think that's... Uh, Oh gosh, down in the main part there. I can't think of the name right now, but right there in New York City. And we've got uh, Henry Ford II, and he's kind of taken over and designing the new cars. Uh, of course, after the war, they 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 didn't make cars for a few years there during World War II, but this is the new, the new round version of the car and a little bit about all that. And uh, they always had nice ads in uh, Life Magazine and here's one with the Soapbox Derby. Kind of fun for See how life used to be and the different clothes they wore years ago. Finally, the one on Phyllis, uh, article on Phyllis Calvert playing Peter Pan. Boulevard watches and just all kind of fun ads.